I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. Senator Jackie Rosen voiced her support for the CHIPS Act on the Senate floor Tuesday. Rosen said that the quote, computer chip shortage we're facing is a critical economic and national security issue. It has caused prices to rise, contributed to supply chain issues, and limited the availability of many products. The CHIPS Act, which is bipartisan, would provide about $54 billion in subsidies for U.S. semiconductor companies. Here's more from the Nevada lawmaker. I ask unanimous consent that if the Senate receives a message from the House that it has passed H.R. 1842, and if the text of that bill is identical to S. 697, that the bill be considered read three times and the Senate vote on passage of the bill without intervening action or debate, and that the motion to reconsider be considered made and laid upon the table. Without objection. Mr. President, for months, our country has experienced a severe computer chip shortage, one that has impacted nearly every American industry and increased costs for nearly every American. From cell phones to cars to televisions, even our refrigerators and washing machines, products we use every day, well, they need computer chips to function. They're also used in critically important technology, like the medical equipment at our hospitals and the technology used by our military. This is why the computer chip shortage we're facing is a critical economic and national security issue. It has caused prices to rise, contributed to supply chain issues, and limited the availability of many products something that anyone who has tried to buy or rent a car over the past couple of years knows all too well. This shortage, well, it's directly impacting hard-working families and the businesses that support jobs across our nation. It has hurt companies and employ people in my state of Nevada, like Varian Medical Systems, which uses computer chips to manufacture cancer fighting, and other critical medical technologies. This shortage, this shortage is impacting lives and livelihoods. For decades, America was a global leader in manufacturing and innovation. But over the years, we outsourced the production of computer chips to countries like China, costing us millions of potential American jobs and increasing our reliance on foreign nations for technology, well, for technology that is critical, critical for our national security and for our safety. And all of this has been exacerbated by a global pandemic and the war in Ukraine. Mr. President, we can't afford to wait any longer to bring manufacturing of computer chips back to the United States. The Senate well, we'll be voting on bipartisan legislation to bring computer chip manufacturing back to the U.S. and help existing manufacturers compete, creating thousands of new American jobs and enhancing both our economic and our national security. We'll also improve our supply chain, which will help businesses like Varian Medical Systems, and it will minimize those supply chain disruptions, which will ultimately help lower prices for consumers. And this bill, well, this bill will do so much more to spur innovation and invest in our American economy. As the first and only former computer programmer to serve in the United States Senate, I'm so excited about what this legislation will do for the future of American technology and innovation. It will establish a first-of-its-kind effort to accelerate our development of critical technologies like artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and advanced manufacturing. It will invest heavily in STEM education and in our cybersecurity workforce. And it will help build regional technology hubs all across this country to spark innovation. I'm also so proud that this bill includes bipartisan provisions that I worked on in committee that wrote the bulk of the legislation, which includes these. My bipartisan Rural STEM Education Act with Senator Wicker to increase access to quality STEM education for rural schools so it's accessible to all of our students no matter where they live. 
It also includes provisions I worked on with Senator Blackburn to support advanced manufacturing workforce development. And a bipartisan amendment I introduced with Senator Lummis to develop a secure and reliable critical mineral supply chain. This historic bipartisan legislation is just common sense. So let's build up our communities. Let's strengthen America's competitiveness. Let's invest in American innovation. Let's lower prices for hardworking families. And let's bolster our domestic supply chain. Let's pass this critical piece of legislation now. Thank you.